more people in Sevier County told that they will have to find somewhere else to stay. Yeah, it's another example of the need for low cost housing, an issue that we've been telling you about for quite some time now. Matter of fact, think back to January and the closure of the Rainbow Motel in Gla uh, Gatlinburg sold off with plans for redevelopment. People living there then left to scramble really to find somewhere else to live, somewhere that they can afford. Reporter Blake Stevens looking into another closure. Now, on your side, Blake joins us live here in the studio. Blake. Hey guys, well, this is a problem. Affordable housing is a problem and it's growing. It's a growing one for businesses. People travel to Gatlinburg for the mountains, the serenity, and the hospitality, but those who work in hospitality in Gatlinburg struggle to live there. Now, I did a search for rental properties on apartments.com. I found two. Now, that's only one website, but the cheapest option listed is $1,200 a month. It's kind of tough. It was a night Penny England hasn't forgotten. It was just three months ago she was evicted from the Rainbow Motel, a housing option she could afford. That night she did not know where she was going. But she found this place. It's close to work. I could walk to work. You know, it, I was ecstatic. And then I got the news. They're going to have to move again because the place has been sold. And the new tenants want everyone out. She's managed to find another place to live, but this time it's 40 minutes away from her two jobs in Gatlinburg. She knows for some that drive is not an option. We had a family that went back to Maine. We had two families that went one to North Carolina, one to South Carolina. And they were families, and I'm telling you, they were great workers. They were really good at hospitality, and they're greatly missed. It's hard to replace good people like that. Julie Rines manages flapjacks, and she knows all too well employees are leaving because of a lack of housing. It's very bad. I have one girl that I think has worked 25 days straight just because she stepped up. She said she wanted to. I would never do that to her, but she stepped up, and, you know, she knew we needed the help, and she has worked that many days straight for me. I use um, contract labor because I can't find kitchen staff. That problem worsening each time a motel is remodeled and turned into lodging for tourists. And I wish we did matter more because we have lives just like the people that come here do. And we have family and children and, you know, schools here. Um, we have the same worries they do, you know. Mm. Guys, Gatlinburg City leaders are working to help people that are in a similar situation to Penny's. In fact, the county's economic development director telling me the city approved a tax break for a developer planning, get this, 180 affordable apartments, bringing that to Gatlinburg. That's on top of a 76 apartment uh, complex already in the works. And those apartments will average about $600 a month in rent. So it should help a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. definitely. They Can't definitely happen need it. soon enough. All right, Blake and O'Neill, stay on top of it. Keep yeah. us updated. All right.